And we have a special situation, friends from Hamburg, Peter and Gerd Emeyer, whom we met 2005, and Gerd is the Honorary General Consul for, for Bulgaria in Northern Germany, and Bulgaria has a very, very special uh, Holocaust history, one of two European countries which did not support Hitler and Nazi Germany with a uh, Holocaust, with a Shoah, with a mass extermination, with a mass, mass, uh, mass murdering. Please welcome Gerd, and he will give a little briefing because of his background of Bulgaria and that Holocaust situation. He asked, let's have his information at this point of the conference. So, since we have time, it is easy to uh, have Gerd in the program. Steve is back. He will sit with Charles. Thank you very much. Gerd, you have the podium. Thank you, Yogi. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen and friends. Uh, I'm deeply impressed what we have uh, listened this morning and what we have heard about uh, Holocaust in uh, Germany. And I would like to add a little bit about what happened in uh, Bulgaria. The rescue of the Bulgarian Jews, this is my topic now for about five minutes and thank you very much for your patience. Let me start with history. In 1878, uh, Bulgaria became independent from the Osmanian Empire and uh, after that there was a big question, who should be the ruler, president of uh, that uh, tiny little new nation in Europe and uh, Bismarck helped that uh, Germans came to the force and the rulers of uh, Bulgaria became uh, finally the um, rulers and uh, nobles of uh, Sachsen Coburg Gotha, which is a noble uh, family in Europe. And, um, Ferdinand I from Sachsen Coburg Gotha became later on king of Bulgaria, and his son Boris III was the well the king of Bulgaria in uh, since uh, 1990, and of course he was uh, uh, just an ally of uh, the Dritten Reich, the Third Reich of Adolf Hitler, and uh, uh, Boris was uh, quite often meeting with uh, Adolf Hitler and uh, Adolf Hitler and Himmler asked uh, uh, the uh, rulers of uh, Bulgaria just uh, to handle the Jewish question. And uh, Bulgaria was divided at that time still in two different parts. The one was just directly under German control and uh, under German uh, military uh, control and the independent uh, part of uh, Bulgaria was just around Sofia where the Tsar, the king, was uh, ruling. And uh, Himmler and Adolf Hitler forced the uh, uh, government of Bulgaria just uh, to bring the Jewish just together to concentrate them and bring them to Auschwitz. This happened in Nine, finally, in 1943, and uh, at that time, about more than 40,000 Jewish were concentrated just uh, in the neighborhood of Sofia, and they were just uh, to, prepared to transport them uh, to Auschwitz. And uh, at the end of that uh, preparation uh, time, the 48,000 Jewish were just on trains waiting for their transport to Auschwitz. And there were three days just uh, in the train and waiting for their transport. And uh, meanwhile, weeks before this, and uh, meanwhile, uh, there uh, was an opposition going on, and there was a deputy parliament president, Peshev. Deputy President of the Parliament of uh, Bulgaria, Zabrani is the name of the Parliament, and uh, he opposed against what, is go what was going on, and he uh, had uh, asked uh, the uh, head of the Orthodox Church, the Exarch, uh, just to give him support, 
and he got support and he got also support by other politicians but at the end of the story nothing seemed to be just uh, successful but finally the ruler the king Boris III decided no car no train should leave Bulgaria and after that in, the, in August 1943 the 48,000 Jewish on the train were released could leave the trains and could live in the place where they had uh, their accommodation and their homes and they were free. This 48,000 Jewish were not going to, not transported to Auschwitz. This was a big event and I think uh, we have in Germany one other story, Schindler. Schindler was a man who also supported and helped Jewish people to survive. And I think you should very long time look worldwide and Europe for a history, a story like this, saving and rescuing the Jewish in such a number. And the, the Tsar, the king, who released this Jewish and who uh, stopped the story, he visited a couple of weeks after this Adolf Hitler again and uh, now Bodhi knows what happened during that meeting after the few days Bodhi III came back to Sofia and after another three days he passed away and the reason why he passed away are still unknown up to now and uh, I think this is also an uh, important story and this tiny little nation in the southeast of uh, Europe owns high respect for what they did and what they did against the force and uh, the, well, it's not only a strategy against the murders of uh, uh, the Third Empire and Adolf Hitler and uh, uh, think uh, not to forget that there was another part of Bulgaria a little bit south of Sofia, Romania and also Macedonia were settled by many, many Bulgarians and these, these areas were under direct control of the Third Empire, Drittes Reich and uh, from there many, many Jewish, at least 11,000 were brought to Auschwitz and were killed there. So I think my tiny little country which, for which I am serving to, since 25 years owns quite high respect for what they did for the history about what we are talking about. Thank you very much.